hey girl hey welcome back to my channel as y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail today i'm reviewing this 30 inch 300 density wig yes y'all i did say 300 density this hair is bomb and it's by a serious hair i'm gonna be giving y'all all the deets on this full curly wig know i was excited for this unit because big hair is my signature look but i have never had a 30 inch unit let alone a true 30 inch curly unit y'all so i was excited so let's get into this unboxing so the hair did come in this plastic bag it said that it was hd lace 30 inches and then it said that the density was 300 i've worked with this company in the past y'all and their 180 density is just as full as this so i already knew that this was going to be massive this was going to be a volume this wig so this is a 13 by 4 but they also offer 13 by 6 5 by 5s whatever you like they have it also if this wig is a little bit too full for you if it's too much for you they do offer 250 density and again this is one of their like ready to go units it's transparent lace y'all can see it's already plucked it already has a part in it and this is literally right out the bag y'all they also sent some 3d eyelashes of course a wig cap a edge brush and other little knickknacks as a lace band in there. So and let's not forget about the satin bag. I love when wigs companies send extra bags because this is where I store all my wigs and these come in handy. But let's go ahead and get into the wig, y'all. So this is literally straight out the box. This is what it's giving. I didn't pluck it. I didn't do anything to it, y'all. That's a hairline. This is a true HD lace. Like, do y'all see how full but yet natural the hairline look. And then it came with a deep part. For that to be a 13 by four, it looks pretty good. And this is the hair without any products in it. This is it in its natural state. I'm gonna stand up so y'all can see how long this unit is. Mind you, this is curly hair. This is like curly, curly hair and it's giving length. It did come with layers on the frontal piece of it. I'm gonna show y'all the back. Um, the hair does go down to the middle of my butt. But like I said, it's a curly unit. I didn't have to do this step. This is optional. But I went in and plucked my hairline just a little more. Um, just to be extra, y'all. Because like I said, it already came pre-plucked. But I just wanted to go in just a little bit more. Because I know I wanted to get the big fluffy baby hairs look. Also, plucking isn't hard with a HD unit. If it's true HD lace, the lace would be really thin. The knots would be really tiny. Like the knots here... Like, where are they, y'all? This wig didn't even have any knots on there, so it was really easy to pluck this unit. It honestly took me about five to 10 minutes to pluck it. After that, I went in with my hop comb just to flatten the unit out because I really wanted it to give scalp. At the time, I thought I wanted to do a side part, y'all. That's why I went ahead and pulled out some of my baby hairs out. What I do is take out maybe like a two, three centimeters of baby hairs behind the hairline, and then I go in and pluck it just a little bit more behind that because like i said i was going for the big fluffy baby hair look but i end up doing something real simple and i didn't even go crazy with the baby hairs but i'm going to do that on both sides like i said this unit already came with a middle part but i did go in and pluck that as well The trick to the fluffy baby's hairs is a curling iron. All you have to do is get one of them really small curling irons and curl the hair. That's literally the trick, y'all. How y'all see the girls with the hairs that's not gelled to their scalp. All they do is curl it with a curling iron. Um, you don't have to do much to it and put water on it. I'm going to go ahead and cut my lace. As y'all can see, the, the scissors is gliding on the lace like butter because like I said, this is a very thin unit without me putting any makeup or anything on there. Just with me cutting the lace, y'all can already see that it's blending in with my skin. Um, I really didn't have to do much to the lace. I did go in with my foundation just to make sure the colors match exact, but that was very optional, y'all. Like the lace was already invisible. Thank 
Jack and me, you must be lying to your friends. They know I'm a piece, I'll wait the giants up again. Shining once again. Ran it up, I told them I'm a shot in my DMs. Turn right back in. Lock in. Shotty got that dress on, so the block is hot again. Think so when I hit it, sound like fuck a head. Gotta ask again. Then she got it tripping off another yet again. Got a nigga feeling like a sucker yet again. Close on my emotions, then I run. Jackin' me, you must be lying to your friends. They know I'm a piece, I'll wait the giants up again. Shining once again. Ran it up, I told them I'm a shot in my DMs. Turn right back in. Lock in. Shotty got that dress on, so the block is hot again. Think so when I hit it, sound like fuck a head. Gotta ask again. Then she got it trippin' off another yet again. Got a nigga feeling like a sucker yet again. Close on my emotions, then I run. Jackin' me, you must be lying to your friends. They know I'm a piece, I'll wait the giants up again. Shining once again. Ran it up, I told them I'm a shot in my DMs. Turn right back in. Lock in. Shotty got that dress on, so the block is hot again. Think so when I hit it, sound like fuck a head. Gotta ask again. Then she got it trippin' off another yet again. Got a nigga feeling like a sucker yet again. Close on my emotions, then I run. After I got done laying my lace, I went ahead and combed all of the hair out because I wanted to really see the density in full effect, y'all. And this hair was absolutely beautiful. One day, I want to blow this hair out to like get like a straight blowout look to see just if, just to see if I can rock the look, y'all. But look how gorgeous this hair is. It was full all the way to the root to the tuta. You know how sometimes you get curly units and it's only really full in the back. But no, y'all, this was a true. 300 density but what i really love about it was i can tame the hair like the hair doesn't have to be this big all the time so what i did is wanted to define my curls so i put water and conditioner in a spray bottle you can literally get shea moisture whatever brand of conditioner you use i'm sure it'll work the same y'all um, i'm using curl mix and a straight shea moisture moisturizer inside of my water bottle um, I literally only put like two squirts, put water in it and shook it up and then I'm going to define my curls. So all I did was spray that on there, just get it moist and then I combed it out from bottom to top. And as you can see, the curls just started um, to form. It did take me about 30 minutes to detangle my entire head just because it's so much hair. But the good thing about it is once you detangle it, 
it's gonna last for a few days so as of right now the hair has been low maintenance i've had it in for about four days now and it's really really full but at the same time y'all i don't have to detangle it until every few days like it's not an everyday type of thing the curls do stay defined i went to the gym with it i've been to the store i've been outside in the wind i've laid in it in my bonnet and i fluff it put a little water on it and i go so i'm gonna show y'all me just detangling um half of my hair because like i said in real time it took me 30 minutes to get through all of this so all i'm doing is just wetting it and i'm just combing it from top to bottom and i'm working my way up the last step i took was diffusing my hair i just i was impatient y'all i had somewhere to be but i honestly would recommend air drying i feel like air drying gives the best effect you won't have any frizzes or anything when you diffuse or blow dry your hair you end up getting frizzes in there but for me to have done it with the blow dryer it didn't look too bad um, my hair was like 99% dry y'all it was just a little damp in the middle um, but I also put clips all around the perimeters in the front of my hair just to give it that lift like I wanted to give it a volume. Again, thank you so much for a serious hair for sponsor today's video. I'm going to go ahead and take my clips out. And y'all, this is pretty much the finished look. The curls are absolutely um, beautiful. This is how they look at 99% um, dry. Like I said, the back was still a little damp, but the hair is true to length. It's very light and it's tam tameable. It's big hair, it's 300 density, but as y'all can see, it's not a messy look. Like I can tame the hair. So again, if you're interested in purchasing this hair, hit the link down below and I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace.